Everyday tasks can become more complicated for parents with a child with autism. One of those tasks that can cause some real stress is getting a haircut. So first at nine, Olivia Nakalmiz is on your side with a new outreach program for special needs families. The Infinity Puzzle Project helps support parents of children with autism. This new initiative cuts down on the sensory overload a salon can bring by taking the salon to your home. As soon as he walks in, he's hesitant to continue um, the noises and then if you do if I was successfully to get him in the chair successful getting him in the chair uh, it would you know probably be a lot of hands flying while the um, scissors were going or the clippers were going. Chrissy Harmon founder of the Infinity Puzzle Project says every family is different but for hers it can be a huge ordeal to get her son's haircut. In the past she's done it herself the best she can. When you're trying to do it yourself, you're, you know, shaving their head or letting their hair grow out really long because you don't want to deal with it or you, you're scared to you'll hurt them. That's why she thought to connect stylists who have experience with special needs kids to families to take the salon to them. My mom and her mom both were in the special education program for years. They retired into it. Not everybody's going to have the same tics. Even, I mean, your average client that comes on on a daily basis, they're going to have their own things. I think the biggest part of being a hairdresser is making other people feel important, making other people feel beautiful. She explains what she does differently when working with autistic kids. I try to slow down. Um, if they feel like you can have a conversation with them uh, and sit with them, play with them, you know, pick up toys. Generally speaking, we're going to take all of our cutting utensils, our clippers, our shears, our scissors, um, and our trimmers. And then we'll grab water bottles, combs, clips, stuff like that. Um, we have some kids that like to play with the water bottles, so we'll give them an extra one. Harmon with the project says this simple act can make a huge difference in making families feel just a little bit more in control. You just want to feel normal. That's part of being a parent of, of a child that's different. We also want them to look nice when they go to school, when we go to church. You know, we want them to look, look presentable. Um, and I think that looks different for everybody and that's fine. But whatever that, that looks like for your child, you want that for them. And this is just one service that the project hopes to help parents navigate. They're looking forward to the project growing to encompass more initiatives. We want to help with so many other things. We have a, a caregiver page on Facebook that helps connect caregivers with, um, with families in need. We want to help everybody. We all go get our hair cut. We get our hair done. Why can't our kids or adult children have the same? She's hoping more stylists will get on board with the project, and if you feel like you have that skill or another skill to offer their organization, or if you're a parent who'd like to know more about their programs, I've got more details for you on the WBRC app. Liviana Kelmys, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.